All right, so from the previous videos, we had developed this equation here. And of course, it just roots from back to a regular y equals mx plus b formula. And I'll show you what I mean. If we start with the f of x is some, something basic like the absolute value of x. Um, really, if we wanted this graph to be translated up 1, we would go plus 1. If we wanted it to be translated to the left one, well, left one is minus one, that would be the h value is minus one, plus one. b was the, how far you went on the y-axis. So this would be uh, x plus one plus one, okay? So this, this would show a graph that has a ver uh, vertical displacement, you know, why don't I just use two to just to use different numbers. So we're going up to there. And there. This has uh, up two and then uh, to the left one, okay? Easy as pie. How do these stretches fit in? Well, just like before when we had uh, f of x absolute value of x was a graph like this, but uh, if I changed it to be 2 times the absolute value of x, then it was like the slope, right? There's a slope of 1 on this line. Now our m is 2. Our slope is 2. So it makes, makes it uh, twice as steep, okay? Just like if we put a number here, we're messing with how the graph looks like this. Okay. So I could say, um, this is an example, just a pure example. Um, 2 x plus 1 plus 2. Okay. What this is going to do, going from, if we strictly went from this graph, f prime x, if we went from this graph to this graph, then we would have, we went up 2 and went left 1, and we had this. We went from this, and now we're at that. Okay. Now, is what is this? Is this a vertical or a horizontal expansion, or what's the story? Here's what I need you to remember. Okay. We are not messing with x. Okay. Think of x like this. This is the critical part. Here's your x-axis. Your x-axis is the horizon. Okay? Think you're looking down a beautiful sunset or a beautiful desert Saskatchewan road, and there's a horizon. Okay? That's your x-axis. Are we messing with x? No. So that means are we messing with the horizon? No. Because the horizon is x-axis. That means we're messing with y. So, is y vertical or horizontal? Y is vertical. Okay? Y is vertical. So therefore, we already know that it's either a vertical compression or a vertical expansion. I'm going to check my notes for one second here. Yeah, it's perfect. Here's what I want you to think about. The graph has gone from this to this. Think about something reaching to the sky. It's higher. It's bigger. It's bigger. Bigger expansion. Connect the words. Your graph goes from this to this. It expands higher to the sky. Higher to the sky. Okay, roll with that. We're not dealing with the x-axis. We're not, okay, A, we're not messing with x, therefore we're not dealing with the x-axis. As a result of not dealing with the x-axis, it must be the y-axis we're dealing with. And the slope of it is bigger, a larger slope, so it is why it's going to be vertical, it's a bigger slope, so it becomes a vertical expansion because you're expanding to the, the sky sooner. Think of it like that. 
I gotta get to the next video here with a new uh, tape because I'll probably mess up.